everybody, this is Miss Robin with the King Township Public Library. Today we're going to do a fun and easy activity and I'm going to show you how to make these really easy popsicle stick mini catapults. This first one here is really simple and quick. And this one here is a little bit more advanced and takes a little bit more time. So let's get started with the easier one first. All you need for this first catapult are 12 popsicle sticks and three elastic bands. And then for mine, I put a tiny measuring spoon uh, that I cut the handle off of. You could use a bottle cap or a little container, anything around this size so that you can put in your pom-poms or buttons or marbles or whatever it is that you want to try to launch uh, with this. Okay, so first you're going to take 10 popsicle sticks and stack them on top of each other. Like this. Make sure that they're lined up with each other. And then take an elastic and wrap it around one end until it's nice and tight. Should be good. And now before we put the elastic on the other end, we want to take another popsicle stick and slide it in between the bottom two popsicles, like this. And try to get it in the middle. You can adjust it later. And then take another elastic band and put it around this end. Okay, and now we are going to take our final popsicle stick and place it like this above the other popsicle stick. And then we take our final elastic band and wrap it around this point. It's nice and tight. Okay, like that. Perfect. Center it a little bit more. Okay, and that is it. See how fast and easy that was? So then you want to grab whatever little holder you're going to use and just hot glue that onto the end. You want to leave a little bit of space at the end of the popsicle stick there for you to put your finger on it for launching it. And I'll give you a little demonstration of this one. So I have a pom pom and I'm going to put that in there. And then I hold on to it like this or however you want to hold on to it. And then And then once we're done building both, we'll do a test to see which catapults goes further. For this one, you will need 11 popsicle sticks and 18 elastic bands. For this one, I did slightly smaller and thinner elastic bands because I find that a little bit easier since we're going to be using a lot of elastic bands on this one. All right, let's make the square that will be the base of our catapult. Now I should note that you want to find the flattest and straightest popsicle sticks that you can. I swapped a couple of mine out for better ones um, because the flatter and straighter they are, the easier it's going to be to 
make the catapult keep its shape. So for the square, start with two popsicle sticks, cross them like this so that they're on a right angle from each other, and put the elastic through here and wrap it. And again, wrap it. I'm going to do it four times. So I find that's good for this size of elastic. And then turn, and we wanna make an X. So now we're going to wrap it around this way. So that we have an X created with our elastic. Like this. And try to keep the elastics not too twisted, but I know that's definitely a challenge. <laughs> okay, so that's one done. Now we want to move on to another stick. So make sure that this stick is underneath. So we have this one is underneath and this one is underneath and this one's laying across the top. Now take your elastic again and we're going to do the same thing. Depending on how big your elastic is and how stretchy it is, you may have to wrap it more or less times than I'm doing, but you want to try to wrap it an even amount of times on either side of the X so that it's fairly similar so that it creates the same amount of tension on both sides of the popsicle stick in order for them to stay relatively straight. And now we put our fourth popsicle stick on top. So these two are underneath and these two are on top. Hold it here, take an elastic, place it here, and you want to tuck it under like this, and wrap it the same way we've been doing, just this time making sure that we're not getting that other popsicle stick in the mix there. <laughs> So with this one, we can't put the elastic through here uh, the way we've been doing with the other three. So I'll show you how to do this one. So I'm going to start doing the X this way instead, wrap four times. And then I'm going to twist. You don't necessarily have to twist actually. Just pinch, put it through pull it up and around and do that again up and around one more time and then you want to take this and wrap it around like that and there you have your X again okay so that is the square that is going to be the base of our catapult now we are going to make the side pieces of the catapult that are kind of like triangles. So for those, we take two popsicle sticks and very similar to these, we are going to cross them over top of each other, but rather than a right angle, we'll do more of a 45 degree angle. So pinch your popsicle sticks, take your elastic, and same as before, put it between, wrap it around a few times, and then turn and wrap it this way. Okay, so we've created our X again like this and you can wiggle them around adjust them a little bit 
And there you go. And now we will repeat that. So now we want to put these inside of our square. And the easiest way to attach them is to take an elastic, wrap it a few times around the bottom of this popsicle stick loosely, then pull it out so it's like you have one big thick elastic. Now place your popsicle stick like this against the square. Grab your bunch of elastic, pull it over and put it around. And that will nicely attach your popsicle stick onto the square. And now we will do it again on the other side. So take your elastic, put it around, wrap it a few times loosely, bunch up, place your popsicle stick against the inside of the square, pull your bunch of elastics over, and put them around the bottom of the popsicle stick. Okay, and then you have this attached. And don't worry if it falls forward like this because it will be stabilized once we put our cross piece along the top later on. So I'll repeat that with this side. All right, so that's it for this step. So now we have the sides of our catapult attached. Now we want to connect the two side pieces with a few more popsicle sticks. So we're going to put a piece across here. You can readjust your side pieces if you need to, to have more space at the tips of these so that this popsicle stick can lay flat. You want enough space that it can sit like this in between those two popsicle sticks. I think I'm going to put mine even a little farther down. Now again, we're going to do that same technique that we did to attach these bits. So we want to wrap it around a couple of times, loosely, and then try to kind of e make them even and pull it and place it on here and wrap this around this popsicle stick and then put it over the end. And then adjust as needed so that popsicle stick is attached. And now we wanna do the same thing on the other side. Okay, we're almost done. We just got a couple more pieces to put on. So we're going to do, again, the same technique we just did here with another popsicle stick here and here. So let's take this. We do wrap it a couple times. Pull it out. Place it against here. We're gonna have to pull it through the triangle here. So if 
find it easiest to pull it out with my thumb then grab it with my two fingers and place like that and then same thing on the other side wrap around place it against like that pull it through the triangle and around there we go and then readjust as needed to make it more centered okay and then same thing on this side Okay, and that is it. We have our completed catapult. So for the part that is going to launch things, I am using a plastic spoon on mine. Um, that's a nice easy way to do it. Um, if you don't have a plastic spoon, you can do the same method that I did on this first one where you just want to put a little round container, just hot glue it onto the end of the popsicle stick. And now I'll show you how to attach this final uh, popsicle stick or spoon or whatever you're using. So it will be very similar to what we've been doing. Um, so this popsicle stick or spoon, whatever you're using is gonna go uh, through these two. So you want the popsicle sticks that are facing the same way as each other. This popsicle stick is facing out that way. These two popsicle sticks are facing out that way. So we want to put it between these two popsicle sticks. So we would put it through like this so that it lies like this. And we're going to attach it here and here. So take your elastic do it around three times again. Pull it out, and then we're going to attach it from the back. So pull your elastic around behind and over top, like that. And then do it again where you put it down, and this time, since this popsicle stick is on the other side of it, we're going to pull it forward, up, and over, like that. So now this popsicle stick is very tight. If you find that's a little bit too tight, um, you can loosen this up. I think that it's a little too tight for mine. I think I will wrap this just once around just to make it a little looser. Slide the elastic down, pull it out and over. Okay. And now, yeah, I think that's better. Okay, so the elastics are putting tension at the bottom and the top of the popsicle stick. And that is what will end up launching your object. <laughs> Woo! Nice. Okay, so we're all done making our two catapults. This one was nice and fast and easy. This one was definitely a lot more complicated, but it looks pretty cool. Looks like a real catapult. And now we are going to test them out and see which one goes further. All right, let's test out these catapults and see which one launches farther. I'm just gonna use pom-poms because they're nice and easy and soft. Uh, so pom-poms are a good idea. Um, so that you don't break or hurt anything. 
but you can of course test out a bunch of different objects and see which ones go farther. Uh, do you think a lighter object would go farther or a heavy object? And which one of these two catapults do you think is going to go farther? This little one or the bigger one? Let's find out. So I'm going to put my finger here, my thumb here to hold it down, and a finger back here. And then take this finger, press down, and launch. Wow, that went pretty far. All right, let's test the other one. So I'm going to hold it on the side. Put the pom-pom on here. You'll, if you're using a spoon like me, you'll have to um, hold the pom-pom on until you launch. Now pull down and launch. Whoa, that one went really far too. For a fun and challenging game, you could also set up some paper cups or any type of containers and try to launch it into the container. So the less you pull it down, uh, the shorter of a distance it will travel. And the farther you pull it down, the farther it's going to go. Okay, can we do it? get it in with the blue one this time. Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't go quite as far, but we're gonna try. Might have to move the cups closer, let's see. Oh, okay, I adjusted it a little bit and went a lot farther. So the further down you push the stack of popsicle sticks and the more towards the front you push it the farther it's going to go but there's only so far that you can push it before you're going to end up breaking the popsicle stick so once it's really hard to push don't try to go any further come on That's it for this video. I hope you had as much fun as I did building and playing with these mini catapults. They're pretty awesome. And there are so many different things that you can do with them, different games you could play, different ways you can make them. So have fun, let your creativity go wild and be a little engineer. See if you can make these even better. <laughs> Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this video and all of KTPL's other videos. I hope you had a great March break and we'll see you soon at the library. Bye!